created a performance review form in Microsoft Excel that's available for purchase. You can access this link in the description below the video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock this template and modify it and customize it to fit your own needs. This is a form that I've created in Microsoft Excel. We're going to cover some of the reasons why we created the form in Excel. If you do want to learn how to create fillable forms in Microsoft Excel, be sure and check out the other video on my channel. Okay, this form is available for download. Like I said, both, I have two different templates. There's one for an employee and one for leaders and managers. The main difference is that the one for leaders and managers contains five extra competency areas that you can rate on. So the first thing that we're going to do is come up to the home tab. When you open up the document, come over here to format and select unprotect sheet and then this will unlock everything in the sheet for you from here you can totally modify this form and customize it to fit your needs you can select and delete the logo and insert your own logo or um, whatever you need to do you can insert your own company name at the top uh, you can uh, have your own different subheadings and whatever you want to do you can delete rows um, change labels of things you can totally edit this. It is formatted so that the page layout is appropriate. So if we come up to print preview, you can see that it totally fits onto an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So um, whatever modifications you make, just make sure that you're staying within that page layout so that it will um, stay formatted appropriately in case you want to print it or print to PDF and save it on file. All right, we've included instructions here that again, you can modify based on the process at your own organization. And uh, But here, what we've um, given the instructions to the supervisors or managers who are gonna be filling out this form for the employees is that if they do give a rating of a one, two, or five in any given category, that they should put uh, comments in the, um, in the comments and justification area. So we've formatted this template so that when it's locked, um, that the users can only fill in numbers here in the different competency areas and they can fill in text. They can modify the rows, expand the rows, and they can type in text in these different fields, but they won't be able to mess up the scoring column or any of the other areas once the document is protected. So here we have set up data validation in the form so that when it is locked and protected, a manager um, who selects uh, something other than, um, say, putting number five, if they try to put a four in this cell, it will give them an error pop-up window and tell them they've input the wrong number there. So um, if we want to, what we can do is fix that. So it will prompt the user to input the correct uh, number for the rating in the appropriate box. Over here on the score, you'll notice that we have a formula in here that's going to help um, count and properly account for the rating that the user puts in. Then if you scroll down here to the bottom, um, the nice thing is this form does come with a pre-made template with all the different competency areas with explanations. So again, if you have the your own customized competency areas at your organization that you're using, you can totally update these, edit them, and replace them with your own content. But this is a nice starting point if you don't have anything already built. Um, these are pretty generic that you can modify them to fit your needs. And then down here at the, um, when you scroll down, the nice thing about the formula in this cell is that it's programmed to count that there is a rating score in each of the 10 different areas. And if there is not, it will say incomplete. So it's another way that it prompts the user that if they've accidentally missed a rating area or something like that, it will say incomplete. So they'll know to go back up and fill that in. So once all 10 of those scores are um, input into the rating area, um, it'll give an average of those scores. So I would caution you that if you're going to modify this form to to only have maybe five competency areas or something like that, just keep in mind that you're going to want to come and modify this formula appropriately. Um, right there, you would um, have to take out the cells that are no longer there, and you would also have to make it an average of five as, as an example. All right, so 
Then another thing that we've included are some check boxes down here at the bottom and a signature section. So you can totally um, modify this. If you need to insert a different signature line, you can. Uh, you can change the um, you know, the headings for those and the labels for those as you see fit. So these are different ways that you can totally modify this form uh, to fit your specific needs. And when you're ready to go back and lock it again, all you have to do is come back up to the home tab, format, and say protect sheet. Um, what I've done is I've already gone in and um, locked certain cells that need to be locked and kept certain cells that need to be unlocked, unlocked. So this is already programmed for you. All you have to do is come back to say protect sheet. And again, I, the reason I've selected some of these options here is so that the users can come in and modify and type into those cells um, as they need to. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Be sure and visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com. And thanks again to all my viewers and those of you who have downloaded this form. I hope you find it very helpful and useful. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.